Hey, my earth signs. This is Terabe here with Floaty Savage Spirit. And we're going to do our energy check in. What's going down? How are you guys feeling? My Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. What's the full one one on what's going down in your life? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's. It's really good. So, being the fact that you already know that this is a general reading and, you know, whatever is for you is for you. Don't try to force no shit, right? And if it's not, check out your other sign placements. Oh, hey, just check out your other sign placements because I feel like I am that awesome. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What they got going on? Well, it's getting ready to pop off for them. Who? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What movie is that off of? Um, Cloud Atlas. The old man that didn't only talk. So, chaos is a brewing here. This is the equivalent to the tower card. Some sudden and swift kind of like changes um, going down that's here. These are fall leaves. So, with the seasons changing, so there there is definitely some type of chaos that's a brewing or that has already went down let's see what else who a vision high priestess for me um visions or no no actually this is the moon card for me i'm sorry um there is something that could be going down in your dreams that has given you given you warning to this sudden change um that's here but definitely pay attention to your dreams because there seems to be like a foresight, a vision of something that you, you kind of like already know about this. Self-worth is showing here. Hmm. Okay. So you may end up having to stand up for your self-worth uh, in the very near future here, or that's your current energy of where you're at right now. You're feeling like that um, fulfillment is up under the deck. So I definitely feel as though that th this tower, I just have to say that real quick, that this tile, this chaos situation, this chaotic situation that's here, I don't feel like that is coming to actually harm you towards Capricorn Virgo. I feel more so like it may be coming to help you stand more so in your you know, your own self-worth, your self-love, figuring out exactly what it is that you do want or you don't want, even if it's mean for you to actually date around or there was a foresight of like somebody coming in, uh, you know, to your life. There was some type of sudden change that came into your world that is like flipping your life upside down just a little bit. But it's like you've seen it already. You you knew that it was coming. There's There's just a sense of like, you know, hey, I know this. I'm good with it. It's, it's. I'm not. I'm not that upset. I am dealing with my situation just freaking fine here. I hope you are, because it's definitely it seems like you're standing in your self worth. If you're standing in your self worth, or you're building this situation, is causing you to build your self worth or what it is that you want. So let's just get some clarification here. Show me why is chaos showing here. What's up with this chaos, honey? Because, baby, we got enough going on. We don't need no more chaos going on in our world. So what's going on? Why is chaos showing here? And we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, interesting. So second chances being available. Um, something coming up out of the blue that you may have thought that was over or was getting ready to end or somebody is trying to keep it from ending. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is whatever this situation was, or if it's dealing with somebody, they definitely took their little fucking time uh, coming forward. Yeah, and then the Knight of Wands is in reverse too. So I feel like what this chaos is showing us that it's all about is is that there was someone here, either a fire sign or another fellow earth sign of yours that wasn't really, they wasn't leaving you alone. They wasn't. Um, moving things forward they just was kind of pretty much like stagnant that's here so it's forcing you to have to make you know some type of choice and decision because you have to stand in your self-worth it's like I'm not just gonna sit around and wait on you homie you know like what is it what is it that you think that I'm going to do I'm not you know and even if this is not in a relationship if it's something that's in a business or financial means with this knight of pentacles it's in reverse if you've been 
waiting for something, um, waiting for like a loan or some type of communication about a job or something, that chaos could be that it was in a chaotic situation, but, or maybe that they were offering you an amount that was less than what you actually felt like that you should be offered. It seems as though with you standing your ground and standing in your self-worth or what you deem as though you are worthy of, I feel like that you're going to end up getting it, but let's just continue on and see what else we get here. Um, definitely this, I feel like that this chaos is, it's like somebody is coming back in in order to, to stir up some mess, but it seems like it may be stirring up some emotions, some feelings or some thoughts of, you know, should you or should you not, uh, what, what should you do in this situation? Definitely strong presence of something coming back, something that, that was you thought may have been over, but it wasn't really completely over. Show me why vision is showing here. Why is vision showing here? And we have page of ones. It's like all the people that's on the board, they are in a foolishness. It's like page of ones. This is air. I'm sorry, fire energy. Um, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, some more of that. So you now have the page and the Knight of Wands that's showing on the board here. And neither one of them is the pages of the Knights. And we really want your king, you know, very passionate. So it's like uh, this with this visual would be like maybe you and this person may have been in no contact at one point in time or things wasn't showing. There was not that initiation um, of something that was here. There was... Or this page of ones could rev it with, especially with this knight of ones, like this person could currently be in that energy of being like a fuck boy, fuck girl. Like they was just there to, to, to bang around, but now they're trying to come back under a different energy or they're coming back under that same energy. And that's what vision is showing us here is that we, we've already seen you. We already seen who you are. Um, definitely somebody coming back around because the six of wands is here. A lot of fire is on the board that's here. Someone is wanting to get, um, to get acknowledged. Someone is, is wanting to come back around to show you their accomplishments perhaps as well. Um, someone is trying to come back around and maybe even get you to believe that they have grown, that they have changed from a certain particular situation, but it's definitely like, I want my accolades ego is also showing here so that's what you could probably already know about that this person and then the four of freaking ones is in reverse <sighs> four of ones in reverse could also be like a surprise type of like you didn't really think that they were coming back like maybe you read tear i mean got a tarot reading or something like that and it said that this person was coming back but you didn't really think that it was going to be like this person or that this person was going to do this or something so it seems like there's, there's an element of surprise that's here as to the return of this person um this person that at one point in time was unreliable unrealistic you know in their their lies that they were telling you and then like all of a sudden now they're trying to pop back up and I feel like that you're trying to you may be trying to figure out like what to do moving forward like is this really what it's supposed to be like whatever situation even if this is not a person that's popping back up whatever the situation is that's resurfacing I feel like you're trying to figure out exactly like what are you here for like what what department or you know what like what how should I view this how should I take this like what's going on because I don't want to put myself in a self in an unself worthy type of situation so i need to know the whole truth and nothing but the truth and you're kind of at odds with that so maybe that's what's stirring up that chaos in your life because you're trying to you know choose between what you feel or you what you have envisioned is is that this person was supposed to be your forever type of thing or this situation was supposed to be your forever type of thing but since it didn't give you what you wanted at some point in time that it's like it's fucking with your self-worth so it's like so do i do i go with what i feel like that i know um that this is my person this is supposed to be my forever person but this person is giving me fuck boy fuck girl energy right now so they're not it's, it's making me having to choose myself my self-worth so i'm in conflict i'm in chaos about like that decision um because hey i want it all like that commercial say you know uh, I want I want my forever person and myself worth. So what what do you have to offer? Let's see. Why is self worth showing here? Show me why is self worth showing here? Okay. So Leo presence is here. Strengthened in reverse. 
uh, eight of wands, communication, and then the magician, more communication. Somebody is definitely about to reach out or either they have already reached out. Um, and there, and if you are currently like in somebody that you weren't in separation with before, but you're, you're still kind of like talking to them, it's like they kind of haven't had the courage to be 100% forthcoming with you. And it seems like that they're stepping more into that courage, into that, that energy of, you know, I want to will my, my wand and not the one that's in my pants. Cause I hope that he has a wand anyway, 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 let's stay focused y'all. Um, you know, like they're wanting to wield all of the things that they have in their power to either be a smooth talker, either, you know, or, or be the person to com communicate clearly to manifest something here. But they definitely want to go from like no movement, no passion, no something to boom, like swift, like a, a, a strong push forward is what I'm getting. But it's like you are sitting over here like, I don't know about you or I don't know about this. Is this a scam? I don't know. I don't know. And you may be trying to get readings and stuff to try to figure it out. But it seems like so far it's trying to tell you, make sure that you have that balance. Don't allow this situation or this person to create chaos in your life, because if it's creating chaos in your life, it's not for you. Because something that is for you should just go and work like effortlessly. It should just manifest swiftly and effortlessly like it's supposed to. Is what I'm getting. Heavy presence of a Leo um, that's here. This could have been a situation to where maybe before in the past you or the other person could have ran away or walked away from this situation. Uh, because it was just too much for you to handle or for them to handle or for them to be... Uh, to be uh, forthcoming about. I do sense that like maybe at some point in time, this situation may have brought some type of depression um, or uncertainty in your life. And that's get ready to get cleared up is really what I'm feeling for you. My Capricorn Taurus Virgos, you know. Let's see, what other messages do we have for those in a romantic sector? That's here. Let's see what else we got going down. All right. Trust the process. That came out for my fire signs, too. Um, don't confuse good sex with love. Date night. Don't over-exaggerate your position in their life. And then karmic type of relationship that's here. Insecurity is up under the bottom of this deck. So with this right here. I feel a couple of, of scenarios that's here. I feel like that this could be in the past situation of where, you know, that good, that, that good, you know, wand, <laughs> you know, had you, you know, confusing good sex with a possibility of thinking, you know, hey, should I, should I not? Like, I know I see what this person truly is. Um, but I, which is the self-worth, so maybe not, but I also see that, that happiness, um, that, that they, they give me, you know, so I, I don't know from a date night or something like that. Um, but, and so it caused you to over-exaggerate your position. So with it saying trust the process, I, I feel like it's one of two ways. Either it's a situation of that trust the process and this was in the past, and it's because there's there was some karma that had to be dealt with, but things are going to turn around and, and be something different, possibly be something different in the in the future. Or this could be somebody is coming back around. You already know you already had a vision of what they is. You already know you have to stand your ground and have your self worth. So don't have this going into your future um, of taking them to be something more than what they actually show you. So what they show you is who they really are. Or if they come back and they show you something different, make sure that that you allow them that opportunity to show you something. Don't just at first, you know, slanging of the, the sex that you come back around and be like, oh, you're just ready to give everything over to them. Like, don't do that. OK, chill. So let's see if this is a partner resurfacing. Why is this person resurfacing? Or why is this situation resurfacing? 
star bringing about some hope the empress is in reverse two of cups is in reverse seven of cups is in reverse and then high priestess is showing here as well and then that's the food that's in reverse okay so what i'm getting for the bulk of you guys this person is resurfacing to kind of just try to see are you still stupid or not <laughs> you know all right you know where does your self-worth kind of like stands like what is it that you are truly wanting um because it seems like for some of you guys i don't feel like this person is coming back with good intentions um especially if, if you have been in separation with this person more than uh, two months, I would say. Like, it just seems like that they're still the same old, same old person. The reason why you stopped dealing with them before is kind of who they are right now. For those of you guys that have recently went into separation with this person, I feel like that they are coming back to bring hope um, to this situation and a renewal in this situation because you know, they 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 may have had options or something in the past or maybe had other addictions or other things going on, but now... They, ha they are more in tune with their self-worth and who they are. And they're coming back to try to share that with you is what I'm getting. This is totally opposite from the fire signs. The fire signs was like straight up all about money and career. And then you guys over here saying nothing about money and career. Just straight up wanted to just talk to you guys about, you know, that wanker wanker you know some sex sex okay <laughs> see messages just from your partner i know that i crossed the line with you i couldn't let you get close to me sometimes i stay awake thinking about you and i am afraid to contact you okay so for some of you guys uh this person maybe you know sitting around thinking about you but ain't gonna do shit about it um for others of you guys i definitely feel like that they are going to do that so if you're dealing with somebody especially if they are a leo i don't think that they're going to contact you probably um because the leo came up in reverse which is them withholding themselves or whatnot from you um serious or conflict that's going on but this could also be you like saying that I couldn't let you get close to me because I needed to stand in my self-worth because you crossed the line with me um, before. Kind of feel like this reading is a little bit all over the place. My Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but there are three groups of you guys. So there is a lot of ground to be covered here because it's even more of a of a mass situ vast situations or uh, different situations that could be going down. So. What final messages do we have for my earth signs that's here? Bring this thing together for us, spirit. What messages do you have for my earth signs? Let's see. Here again, we got Knight of Pentacles in reverse again, the Knight of Wands in reverse again. Um, the Justice is here, which represents Libra, the Three of Pentacles is in reverse. So there was definitely a situation of where they could even involve like a third party or just something that was not working together. Somebody was working, you know, not putting in the, that group project. They they bring they share to the shit, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, when it came time for the potluck, they showed up empty handed. They They had nothing. Seems like that there is some justice that's getting ready to come to this situation. Like, I just feel like it's, it's a conversation that's going to be had about something of where some type of love that never got to really mature, get off the ground, uh, why it was stagnant. Um, show me more information on what's going forward. Show me what's going forward. Show me what's going forward for my air signs. Not air signs, my earth signs. I'm sorry. Five of Pentacles. Oh, ooh, this does not look good. Okay. Again, I just keep getting the narrative of there was a halt of something that came that didn't really fully get off the ground. If it didn't come to a halt, there was some type of stagnation. There was some type of conflict argument that left you guys kind of like in, in, in limbo with this person um, because there was no true understanding as to why things became stale or why things came to a halt with the person. But 
you know, you are wanting to stand in your self-worth, stand your ground and be like, well, if you want to talk to me, if you want to make this thing right, you're going to have to make it right. Not me. I'm not going to do nothing. And then five of ones come out in reverse. So that means to tell me that someone goes from having other suitors or other things that they're paying their mind and attention to, to trying to put it more off on you. Um, putting that attention, I'm sorry, like on you trying to resolve whatever conflict that was here that got them in this separation from you. Like them trying to come back to to have that conversation to figure out like what should y'all do. And I feel like that's why it's putting you in such limbo because you don't know under what pretense or energy, you know, you got going on. And when I say come back, it don't necessarily have to mean it had to be a full separation. It just could mean that some stagnant ass energy more stagnant energy six of wands again finally we get to the king of wands so i definitely and, and then ending up some stress and stuff like that magician is showing again for the second time as well so i definitely feel like weather through the storm right now um weather through the storm right now earth signs don't let this situation, you know, um, create chaos in your life. If you have the opportunity to date other people, get out there and date. Don't have for the first person to ask for your phone number. Don't go ahead and get your name tattooed, get their name tattooed, you know, on your tatas or on your buttocks. You know what I'm saying? Like allow things to play out, but also realize that not everyone that you come in contact with is supposed to be your forever type of partner, even though that may be what you are looking from for, but you do have to go through the motion. You have to go through the circles. You have to go through the changes of command. Like, so get to know a person or don't be so dead set on the fact that this one person from your past is your end all be all. And you haven't talked to this person in years or this person don't ever give you what it is that you actually want. So being more realistic about what it is that you want, but also being realistic about the process that it takes in order for you to get to what you want, which is why I feel like trust the process is also here as well. It's because nothing right now in your situation it doesn't seem like it's an immediate thing. I do feel like uh, for the bulk of you guys, that especially if you are in separation, complete separation from somebody, somebody is coming back to make you feel good. Whether or not it's temporary or it's long term, that to be determined. But it's saying don't look at that right now. Just get either the conversation that you need or the slang gang that you need, the penis or the, you know, the sex that you need. Get what you need from the situation in the moment. Keep yourself worth and tap intact, but get what you need from the moment and stop stressing and allowing what the future is going to bring. Don't allow that to bring chaos into your life because you need to stay present in the now. That's what I feel like is your energy check in that is telling you stay present in the now. Have fun if the situation calls for fun because it may not be time yet for you to be determining whether or not this person should or should not be your husband or your wife. So have fun. Stay in the moment. Keep your self-worth intact. Don't let them stress you. Don't let the situation stress you. But also don't be clinging and holding on to something that ultimately don't fulfill you. So I hope that resonates with the bulk of you guys that you can be like, oh, she was talking to me. You know what I'm saying? So if it does, hey, can you subscribe to my channel? I mean, I love you long time. That's one thing you ain't got to, you ain't got to worry about the future. I'm going to always and forever love you. Okay. Especially when you subscribe. Only if you subscribe though, you know, subscribe right now. Uh, anyway, I'm wasting time. I will see you guys on the flip side. My earth signs.